Okay, so I've repaired several of these lighting strips uh, for LED TVs. And at this point, I'm confident enough in my developing skills here that I can do uh, a bit of a tutorial on just one strip. So I'll show you what to do exactly. First of all, you want to remove these little tabs, <clears throat> these little plastic tabs that mount into the TV. Those will just get in the way and, and kick this thing up. You want it to lay flat against your work surface, uh, so I've removed those. The ones with the X's are the bad ones on this strip. I'm only replacing bad ones right now. So first thing to do is to remove the lens, and you just basically twist. You grab and twist, and they just pop right off. They're just glued on there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove both of those that are bad on this strip. Okay, next thing. On this board... I think on pretty much all these boards, you're going to have a positive and a negative on the end right there. You see the positive and the negative. Okay, the side with the negative, you'll notice the negative has a uh, it has a line that runs all the way the length of this thing, all the way to the other end down here. And if you were to test, if you were to put the... Uh, uh, multimeter on that test point and the one down here at the end uh, you would get continuity between the two uh, we don't want to have this side facing us for, uh, and I'll show you why so we're gonna flip this around that so that the negative is on top and that's just gonna make it easier to get these LEDs off of here so the reason you don't want to do it this way is because I like to put the the end of my needle nose pliers at the end of the board it just gives you a little bit more uh, something to kind of butt up against and if you slip with this bottom, and I did that earlier on one of them, and I had to kind of solder, you'll scrape across that trace right there and sever that trace for that negative, and that has to be intact. Um, there's a lot of trace over on this side. It goes all the way around. Uh, not worried about that right here. Yeah, so what we could do is just butt our tool up against here, and just, we're going to chip this off. So we'll chip all the plastic and the actual LED part off of there. Real easy to do. Simple. We'll do, go ahead and do the other one as well. And it seems to be the fastest just to do, uh, just chip off every LED and then move on to the next stage. Now, I'll clean the tip of my soldering iron with my sponge. We'll get some solder on there. Paint it with a little bit of... Uh, little bit of flux and now we're just gonna get the old pads off and that's pretty much that simple they're stuck on the soldering iron at this point and I just basically tap them off like that and they come right off while there's a bunch of flux still on there I'm gonna put some more solder on the tip of my iron and I'm just gonna make sure we have enough solder on the pads so when we come back to it uh, it'll there'll be something to solder to there uh, same story with this one solder on the tip flux on the pad and get rid of the old the rest of the LED and and there are those pieces come off right there now we'll go ahead and put a little bit more solder on the tip. Just make sure we got enough on there to solder to in just a minute. Um, I'm going to change out. I could probably leave this flux and just roll with that right there, but I'm going to change out the flux. I'm going to wipe that off because it's got some little bits in there of just crap, and I don't want those uh, contaminating my solder. Now we grab the strip of LEDs. we we'll pull out a couple of LEDs. We only need two of them, so we just pull out enough for two there are those so we want to examine the bottom make sure that we have these correct so here is the thick side on this side so I got to turn it the correct way lube her up again there with some flux grab this grab our rework station I want to I want to actually uh, melt the flux and kind of get the solder flowing a little bit before I put anything down on it. Let's 
going to be hard to see probably, but I want to face straight down. It's going to be real hard to see, but you're not going to be able to see anything actually because of the camera angle. I'll correct that on the next one. All right, you basically just want to shoot straight down at the thing, straight down, so that it can't really go anywhere. If you if you do like I was doing kind of earlier on, you're shooting from a bit of an angle, about 30% of the time or so, your LED is just going to kind of fly off of there. You don't want that. You want it to go straight down onto it, which makes it kind of a little bit harder to film from above, doesn't it? But anyway, that one is on there now. So there's one LED replaced, and how, how long did that take? Not very long. All right. So we'll get some flux on there. We've already got a little bit of solder. It looks like we've got enough, hopefully. Uh, check our orientation on the LED. Grab the air. Like I said, first thing I, I want to do is just kind of loosen everything up a little bit first. Before I pop the LED on there. And then when I do, we're just going to go straight down with it. And if I need to give it a tiny nudge, I'll nudge at the very base of the LED sideways and not try to grab it from above. I've tried that a couple times and I've just kind of marred up the top of the LED on a couple of them. It didn't render them uh, unusable, but it did just kind of mar up the top of the thing and I don't want to do that because it could damage them. So that should be on there now. And it is. So how long did that take for two of those? Uh, you can kind of extrapolate out. Uh, you know, <clears throat> again, remember that I'm combining tasks. So whenever I'm breaking these off, you know, you can just go right down the line and break every one of those off and then break every one of the LEDs off. And then, you know, you do one whole task at a time for the entire strip and you knock them out pretty quick. So I hope that helps somebody. Uh, that is how to solder your LED TV's uh, backlight strips so you don't have to buy the entire strips, which are eventually gonna fail anyway. And instead, you can go on eBay or somewhere and buy rolls of the LEDs and do surface mount um, soldering. And this is a skill that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have developed here a little bit better. I, I've never been very good at this. Uh, I've only done it a handful of times. For having done this, I'm a little bit more confident in it. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. If it has, hit subscribe down below. And for now, we'll see y'all later.